Title, Saquon's Financial Touchdown? Why the Giants' latest move has everyone buzzing. TL, DR, Saquon Barkley's sassy holdout dance has finally wrapped up. He's in with the Giants for another year, and might just be pocketing more than that cool $10.1 million he would have gotten. But why the surprise move? After a not-so-subtle period of chilling on the sidelines, Saquon Barkley, the dynamo running back we all love, or love to hate, has finally sealed the deal with the Giants. Tuesday saw him shaking hands on a one-year contract, and word on the street. It might be worth more than the pretty penny of $10.1 million he would have bagged with that franchise tag. Now, for those of you living under a rock, or just too invested in TikTok trends, Barkley didn't quite play ball with the Giants' initial franchise tag tender. Can you blame him? When you've got the moves, you wait for the right tune. So, was this play a touchdown for Saquon or a sneaky sidestep by the Giants? Let's get real for a second in the often unpredictable world of sports contracts, where athletes hustle hard for their worth and teams play the strategic game, this new agreement throws in a curveball. Was Saquon just waiting out for a sweeter deal or did the Giants have a trick play up their sleeve? Speaking of hustle, let's rewind a bit. Remember Joe, that guy from your neighborhood who once tried to play hardball at his job and ended up with the same old desk and a fancy new title. But no pay, bump? Makes you wonder. Is Saquon our high-flying version of Joe? Disclaimer, this article doesn't provide financial or contract advice, so don't go negotiating your office deals based on Saquon's moves, all right? Turned up news ain't about that life. Now, let's get to the meat of it. With athletes around the globe constantly pushing boundaries, both on and off the field, Saquon's latest step raises eyebrows and a gazillion questions. Is it about the money, the fame, the game, or a mix of them all? So, as we wrap up this juicy bit of gridiron gossip, here's the ultimate kicker. We all have our opinions, our hot takes, and our Monday morning quarterbacking. But when the dust settles and the ink dries, there's one thing we gotta ask. Did Saquon score big with this deal or did he just fumble the financial football? What's your play call?